Hey guys, what is up and welcome to what I cannot believe is pre-travel day. So this is a brand new series of Florida vlogs, very excited, really cannot believe that we are seeing this. Um, if you've watched the announcement video, you know we are just going for a week before we go back next September 2022 and get married in Orlando. Um, so thanks for joining us. Um, today is going to be a bit of a shorter vlog because it is just pre-travel day. Nothing amazing, so we are just about to leave, we're just checking everything um, and then we are travelling down to Manchester to check into the Radisson Blue. Just going to grab some food and then chill out for the night, check in, make sure we have all the paperwork, all the Covid related stuff. It's been a very nerve wracking moment, uh, morning because we've been waiting for the um, Fit to Fly certificates to come back. So we went this morning, sorry yesterday night to get our um, PCR test done. And very great service from Express Test at the Metro Centre. If you're from the northeast, and then this morning, when did they come back? Back back about yeah, half eleven. Half eleven, they came back, and we've done the test at six p.m. at night, so that could give you a rough sort of time frame. Um, we were worried that we weren't going to get them back in time, but just over twelve hours later, they were back, so that was really really good. We are both fit to fly. We just need to stop and print them off on the way down to Manchester. So let's get going. <music> We are in the car. We've just stopped at the petrol station. I've filled it up. We've got some crisps. We have some pop for the road, and we can't um, go to Universal without or Florida without a holiday like this playlist. So we want to play some Christmas music on the drive down. We're going to stop about halfway for some uh, food. Hopefully, there's a Burger King. I just really fancy a Burger King, and then hopefully it's like quarter out of one now. I'm hoping we'll be checking at around 4 p.m. stop at the services just to stretch the legs use the bathroom and I'm gonna grab some food because I'm starving so we're only hoping to be about 20 minutes so we can hit the road again so we decided to get a Burger King it uh, came at like 15 pound most of the orders like wrong but we just want to quickly eat and get on the road but I got this like Memphis Memphis barbecue burger it's got bacon cheese barbecue and some onion rings as well but I got some like cool little sauces so we're going to quickly eat this and get back on the road. So that does it for our little quick trip to the services. I think we were legit 10 minutes. The bathrooms weren't open, so they had like porter cabins. Weren't good. Um, but it is so cold, we're going to get back in the car, get on the road, and we've got about 90 minutes left. finally made it to um, Manchester Airport. We are now in the car park. Um, the traffic was a nightmare. I'll talk to you more and we check in. We're just about to get the cases out. And I think there's just like a little skywalk over there somewhere. So I think we just need to grab the cases, get my camera gear and my backpack, and walk over through the terminal to the Radisson Blue. So I'll see you when we get there. So we've made it to Terminal 2. And I don't know if you can see in the distance, but there's the Radisson. So I think we just have to head through here and then we can get into the sky tunnel. Wow, how empty is this? Crazy, but it is good to be back. Nothing's changed in two years. The travel haters are still not working. Radisson Blue. Let's get checked in. And guys, they have a Christmas tree up. 
So guys, we have finally made it into the room. Check-in was a breeze. We got really lucky with the parking space that we got um, inside Terminal 2 East. You just literally pull up to the barrier um, and it automatically recognises your car registration plate. You just drive straight in and find any space. We got a space on the end, which was really lucky, and the space was literally right next to the um, lift to go across to the terminal. So we just had to go from um, the level we were on up to level D, cross the road, and we were in terminal, and then through the skywalks like you saw, but we are in the room. Check-in took five minutes, and um, we are back at the Radisson Blue, and we have a superior room. Um, we didn't plan on booking this, we just wanted a standard room, but there was none left. So we paid £156 for this. Um, you get one awesome big bed, you get two bottles of water, there's a little like kitchen area with a mirror, you get two little biscuits, coffee cups, kettle, all that sort of stuff. There's places to put your clothes, not that we are bothering and packing, and a little safe. Show you the bathroom after, we get a little desk, nice flat screen TV which is handy, and um, a little tray for if you're getting roots, roo room service, and a nice chair. And with the superior rooms, it's going to be hard to see because of the reflection on the window. Um, but however, this is the view that you get. And if you look over there in the distance, um, that is the runway. So we can see planes taking off. We've just literally saw a plane land and another one take off. So we're going to be watching that a little bit later on. Um, so yeah, we had a view like this a few years ago. Um, but the terminal, I believe, is over that way, I think. It's been over two years, I cannot remember. Um, but I'll show you the bathroom and then we are going to get the laptop and check in. And this is the bathroom. Nice, cool, floating toilet. Nice vanity area. And me, very tired me. A mirror, there's a hairdryer somewhere, Becca just mentioned. Um, he gets a complimentary vanity kit and a, I think it's a shower cap. You have a shower cap and you get some lotion, conditioner, body and shampoo with some towels, a bath mat there as well. A nice wonky sign. Um, cool little shower. Clean towels up. There's the hairdryer there which is quite handy. Some towels. So yeah, this is going to be perfect for us just for one night. Um, so I'm going to grab the laptop and get us checked in and then we're going to find somewhere to grab some food. So we've all checked in for our flight tomorrow and um, we're going to go grab some food because we're both starving. Um, we're heading over to Terminal 1 because um, there was a giraffe bar. But we're seeing if that's still open because it is a cool little spa shop there as well. I sell like American treats and stuff. So we'll see if they've got some stuff there. If not, we'll probably like, grab a meal deal or something. So we are in the spa shop. I am gutted. We've got rid of the American section. So all they've got to normal chocolate. I mean, they've got Reese's there. Um, but they used to have like, didn't they, Becca? Like a huge yeah. American section with moon pies and everything. And the tradition was to come here and get a moon pie. So we've actually just came to the restaurant at the Radisson Blue. So I just thought I'd show you the menu. It isn't a great menu. I'm just gonna go for the cheeseburger. And I think Becca's gonna go for the chicken. Um, so there's a few things, not amazing. And on the back, they do have a drinks menu. And I think since one holiday, Becca spotted an old fashioned there, so I think I'm gonna go for that. And Becca's just pick, picking her cocktail. They do have quite a good, they have Coors on a draft as well. Loads of wines. That means nothing to me because I don't drink wine. But they have some spirits as well. And of course you have soft drinks at the top. So Becca just went for a regular Fanta. Since we're on holiday, I went for an old fashioned and how good does that look guys? So there's Becca's half roasted chicken with some fries and I got the just regular cheeseburger. I know I've already had one for lunch but there wasn't much that I liked on the menu and some fries. So in case you are wondering what sort of prices to pay at the Radisson, um, this is what we ordered and this is the total here and they already had a service charge on as well so we're just waiting for the lift back to the room this is the the lobby there's like three lifts but they all take ages to come so we're now back in the room i was just having a look to see if there was any any activity you can see over there there's a tui plane this camera is very slow it's zooming in by the way so we do have a tui plane there in the background is that easy jet here's an easy jet plane there not much going on there was planes taken off around here before um but nothing's much going on i think we're just gonna chill out for the rest of the night so since we are back in the room um i thought i would just recap on today we haven't had much chance to pick up the camera because most of it was driving the sat nav when we put it on said um two hours 40 and i think it took us about four and a half hours becca 
Yeah, four hours. Four hours, roughly just over. Um, we did stop at Weatherby Services, but that was only four. I think I timed it at about 20 minutes because I really didn't want to be like sitting wasting time. Um, but the traffic was a nightmare. The Manchester Ring Road, I'm not too sure I have the proper name, someone can correct us, but the Manchester Ring Road was really busy start stop traffic and then there was a road closure so we had to divert and it took us right the way through manchester city center i think it was manchester city center i'm not too sure um but a few things have changed since we it's been over like two years since we've last been here um and we would normally go to the giraffe bar in terminal one however that is now closed we didn't know um and the only place in there really was greg's um which we didn't we wanted a proper meal um so we headed to into the spa shop like you saw and we got some drinks and some chocolate for the room because we're going to chill out and watch some netflix later on and um we walked back to terminal two and we didn't really have much choice so we ate at the radisson restaurant which is quite pricey as you saw so it came at 56 pound and they already added like the service charge on um and was yours nice becca yeah it was just like quite small wasn't it it's just a normal chicken and chips really. yeah but it was just chicken and chips but they just like fancied it up with like a slice of lemon and stuff and um, the burger was nice it was cooked nicely it wasn't dry or anything like that um but becca one thing Be becca's chicken was 19 pound on its own and it didn't come with anything other than the chicken on a plate she had to add the fries and um, which i think were four pound um but we're on holiday my cocktail my old-fashioned i think was about nine pounds so it would have been a lot cheaper if i didn't get a cocktail and just got a soft drink anyway um i did get one drink in the spa which i'll show you in a second as well so i thought i would just get this you know since we're on on holiday it was two pound in the spa shop so not bad price and i quite like me southern and southern comfort so i think i'm just going to round this pre travel day vlog off because again this wasn't meant to be a huge vlog um it was just to like get back into the swing of vlogging and i've been so excited to do this and this trip and all that sort of stuff so the main day is tomorrow though guys travel day and um, so we're very nervous because everything's different with the covid stuff and um, but we've checked it online we did the passenger uh, assertion form <clears throat> excuse me we have our fit to fly certificates um, and i'll explain everything once we go through check-in tomorrow and i'm going to do a sit down video when we get back and explain everything that we had to do just to give people a little bit peace of mind because we didn't really have anything to go off and we did find the whole thing quite stressful so we're just going to chill out i'm going to charge the batteries on the camera um i might do a little time lapse of like the runway and um, we're just going to chill out and watch some netflix we've got the laptop and there's hdmi ports and the tv so we can watch um some dynasty and maybe a couple episodes of the office so thanks for watching guys on this pre-travel day Hope you are excited for this series like we are as well. And uh, I'll get a good sleep ready for travel day. So please leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. And I'll catch you in the next one. And remember guys, stay tuned.